There are two people on the ballot for South Bend School Board in District 3, and one of them has held the seat before. It's been eight years, but Bill Snydecki wants to do it again. Why do you want to run? I, I basically to save the schools. Snydecki was on the South Bend School Board for 12 years before he lost in 2016 to Leslie Wesley. Wesley isn't running for re-election this year, and Snydecki believes the district needs him again. Ever since I left the board, in 2016, that's eight years ago, it, the corporation went totally downhill. Katrina Baker is running against Snydecki for the District 3 seat. I am running because I'm a parent, I am a community advocate. While Baker doesn't have any board experience, she believes the South Bend School Board needs more people who are willing to make decisions based on what's best for kids. In that show, that is why I'm running to advocate for our youth and to have a better understanding for the parents because parent involvement is key, right? The district is facing its share of challenges. We asked the candidates about these issues. Last year, the South Bend School Board voted to close Clay High School and Warren Elementary School as part of the district's efforts to right size. What do you think should happen to those buildings now? Well, um, I definitely feel like they should be repurposed to serve our youth. Baker feels the district should make sure the buildings don't sit empty. If the district holds on to it, what, what would be the purpose? We cannot have another incident like we had with Green when we just have buildings decay in a way. That doesn't benefit our students whatsoever. On the other hand, Snydecki says the board should vote to reopen Clay as a magnet. On your website, you said if it's not too late to reverse the damage. And I wonder, what do you think then should happen to those buildings? You know, uh, there's a couple of ideas uh, that I would like to bring up if I was on the board to discuss, and and I don't know if that could be reversed or not now by law, but uh, I, we at least try. At the South Bend School Board meeting last week, the district's interim CFO presented a balanced budget. Without any emergencies or anything, you're confident that this will be in the black at the end of the year? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. The district has maintained a high credit rating. It has one of the lowest operating fund transfers in the state and by law is audited regularly by the State Board of Accounts. Still, both board candidates express skepticism. In asking for a forensic audit, are you implying that something criminal is going on or that something... I don't, I don't know so much if it's criminal, but it's unethical and, and what they're saying, just like the taxes uh, that that uh, was put in there to, uh, from uh, our taxpayers are paying now, and what he promised was worth this money, this money will be going to the workers and the teachers and the kids. Well, none of that has happened as, as far as I, I was told. I absolutely will ask for another audit. Yet again, where have the funds went? Our schools are closing. Our youth do not have the resources. Where did the funds go to for our students? The candidates agree on another issue as well, the district's top leadership. You've said you would like to replace the superintendent. Yes. How would you do that? Well, as easy as possible to make the change. Uh, uh, we need to get the right people on the board to actually do that. I can agree with my opponent to a certain extent. At this point, we, we have to create a new foundation. Baker and Snydecki also believe they would be the best candidates to fill the vacant District 3 seat. I would like for the viewers and the voters to know that I am truly passionate about what I do. Um, I love our students. I love our parents. I love this community. I'm honest. I'll do what I can. My phone's available. We also asked both Baker and Snydecki about I read scores, chronic absenteeism, and issues of violence at some of the district's middle schools. In fact, we asked all the candidates running for South Bend's board to respond to a list of written questions. Everyone responded, except incumbent at-large candidate Jeanette McAuliffe. You can read more about what they have to say right now on our website. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.